friends, there has been some news about a new line over at DC. A line that is supposed to be echoing something similar that we've gotten from Marvel recently. A relaunch. You may have heard of it. Just a little... Just a little line called Ultimate Comics. I feel like a lot of people have been loving what Marvel has been putting out with Ultimate. The new Ultimate line, which is different from Earth-1610. It's basically a complete refresh on that universe, a complete reboot of it. And it is also integrated somewhat with the main line. It's its own universe, but kind of spinning out of some stuff that has happened in the main line over at Marvel. So when it comes to DC, we're apparently going to be getting something that is in a similar vein called Absolute DC. Part of DC's all-in initiative. It's going to be its own line. It's going to be its own universe, perhaps? And it is going to be running alongside the main line, with there being some, some level of interweaving, probably in the sense that we're in a shared universe here but not, not replacing the main line. But here's the thing. I have seen reports on this from Bleeding Cool. Comic Book has covered it, comicbook.com. People have been talking about it on Reddit. But other than that, that's kind of all we have right now. So it is still in the rumor stage. So there is one thing that I want to say, which is take this with a grain of salt. Get one tiny little grain of salt. Eat that, because... We don't really know. It's very early days. What we've heard is that Scott Snyder is supposed to be attached to this new line, this new initiative. And it is, sounds like it's supposed to be kind of like an Elseworlds, kind of like its own thing. But at the same time, I am a little confused on the reporting that has happened around this. Because it's also been compared to the New 52. But then people have also said it's not going to be like All-Star in the New 52 where it's its own thing. But also it's not going to be replacing the main continuity. So I think it's supposed to be running alongside or kind of with the main continuity but not replacing it. Based on what I'm seeing in these reports and what I understand of them. Now granted, like I said, we're still kind of in the rumor stage here. We don't really know what's going to happen. The belief is, is it's going to come out of absolute power, which is an event that is kind of going on right now, ramping up right now. I just read the free comic book day DC issue for absolute power which is basically Amanda Waller's getting everyone under her thumb and she's using them to create something, build some kind of device. And apparently pretty much every event that we've had so far, it said, is leading us to this. So every event that we've had recently, Dark Crisis on Infinite Earths, Lazarus Planet, which I also feel like I have mixed feelings about, Night Terrors, which I also feel like I have mixed feelings about, and uh, Titans Beast World, which actually I, I feel like I will go back and, and read at some point. I, this one actually, it seemed kind of interesting to me. So all of these are supposed to be leading us to Absolute Power, which is going to be primarily done, I believe, by Mark Wade, And it's believed that through Absolute Power, we're going to be led into Absolute DC. I have some thoughts. I'm a little worried about this because of the way that it's being reported on. And I don't know if this will be where we end up going with it. But the fact that it sounds like it'll be separate from the main continuity, but also kind of not separate from the main continuity, we're going to preserve the parts of the main continuity and all in, at least in the rumors, of what's working. So we already had Dawn of DC. This is apparently like the next step. So everything with Dawn of DC is going to be intact, or at least the stuff that's working will be intact. If you have heard me talk about the DC continuity before, and any of the content I've done over on Top 10 Nerd, or any of the content that I've done here, or just my socials online, you may know that I have, um, have a complex relationship with the DC continuity. I love DC. Batman is still, to this day, one of my favorite superheroes was one of my favorite superheroes when I was a little kid and still is. So even though a lot of people often put me in the category of being a huge Marvel fan, which I am a huge Marvel fan too, I do love a lot of the stuff at DC. And I cannot rant and rave enough about my love of Nightwing right now. It's so good. It's so good. And Wonder Woman. But I digress. My issue with the DC continuity is that we have a tendency to just like 
hit the reset button a little too much, I think. Or sometimes it's just like a reboot, but the DC continuity be can be confusing because instead of us having just one single continuity for the main line, we kind of have these different eras which are either their own world, uh, retroactively became their own like sort of retconned world in the continuity, or we have complete continuity resets that have happened like New 52, which is very confusing when you're trying to understand continuity, <laughs> especially as someone whose job it is to talk about comics on the daily. So as much as I love DC, I don't love that I feel like sometimes what they like to do as well with their continuity is cherry pick what should be in it. So like you might get a story that exists outside of the continuity or was intended to be outside of the continuity. Like for example, Killing Joke, where then we just kind of choose parts of that story to be integrated into the continuity. Or, you know, you have something like Three Jokers, which initially was going to be part of the continuity, but then because so much time had passed, we had already kind of moved on from the story. So it seems like it's kind of outside of the continuity, but it's not really clear. And there's a lot of stuff that's confusing. I just want things to be clear. To be clear, I just want things to be clear. And I am a little nervous that absolute dc might not be a crystal clear like here's the line in the sand this is where absolute is and this is where the rest of the reality is this is where main continuity is i'm worried about main continuity becoming muddled but this also kind of exists as an issue outside of what i've heard of absolute dc and also is just an all-in me worrying about where we're going next and what will survive and what will be on the chopping block and if it'll make sense or be confusing. However, that being said, the things that I am loving about Absolute DC is obviously I love Scott Snyder. I am very intrigued to see if he is the one behind this initiative, like the rumors are saying, what he's going to do. I love the idea that from what I'm hearing, Absolute DC is supposed to be this initiative where creatives that are brought on board are going to be given more free reign to just kind of go a little more buck wild with the universe and do more crazy, more bold stories, kind of like what Ultimate did over at Marvel Comics originally. And I think also what it's kind of doing now, changing things in terms of some of the creative directions, taking them in these interesting places we haven't gone before in terms of the characters and the stories. And I really am excited to see where we go if we go that way. And also if this is, you know, its own else world, what will define it? However, I am a little concerned in the sense that when you say, you know, creatives can do whatever they want, will it be unified? And I think something that I've seen people talking about on Reddit is this concern of something that people felt maybe was missing a bit from Earth One was the fact that it didn't feel as unified. Although a lot of people are saying that was more of a release schedule issue, which I gotta say, I think I actually agree more with that. But I do understand the concern of will this be a unified initiative or is it going to feel disjointed and I think the thing that is frustrating sometimes at DC is it can be confusing where things exist I mean even right now with the main continuity I feel like some people are confused because there's just so much going on with specific characters in different books and it's like how does this all fit together and this is also something that I feel like is a recurring issue now not to say that Marvel is perfect Marvel is not perfect and although Marvel does have, you know, 616, which is the main continuity, because all of history has happened in that one line, there are things that are muddy in a different regard. So I'm also not saying this to try to put down DC in any way. I'm just saying, as someone that loves DC, <laughs> this is a, a concern that I have that's making me a bit nervous. However, I do love the idea of, you know, creatives getting to go just buck wild. Scott Snyder coming in and kind of overseeing this and the fact that it m might be just like its own else world, its own universe, its own reality, which I think could be really cool. I really do like the ultimate stuff from Marvel too. But then of course there's a part of me that worries that if it's two ultimates, if that's like where we're going with it and it ends up being two ultimate, then too similar, I should say, then will people just be comparing the two and will it look like DC is just trying to do what Marvel is doing, which might not be good optically. 
I don't know. I don't think it really matters that much because as long as something is good, I don't really care if it feels... I mean, let's be real. The big two, DC and Marvel, constantly taking ideas from each other, taking inspiration from each other, trying to one-up each other. They are competition. There's a reason why when... When over at Marvel people talk about DC, it's in the cheeky name of the distinguished competition. It's all about highlighting the fact that yes, DC is the rival to Marvel. Marvel is the rival to DC. So there's going to be a lot of things that go back and forth with them and I think that's normal. As long as we stick the landing with it, I feel like that's really all that matters. But I do feel bad because I feel like a lot of times, especially in recent years, there's been a lot of, you know, Marvel folks saying, Marvel fans saying, you know, DC is just copying Marvel. DC, like, can't get it right. And also, I've heard that Absolute might have been being planned for, like, multiple years prior to this. So if that's the case, then I'm going to feel, like, <laughs> bad for them, I guess, if we do get those comparisons in a negative light. So, I mean, there could be that comparison. But going back to how it could be confusing, there's another way it could be confusing. Not just in the idea of continuity. But also because it's called absolute, potentially. And if it is called absolute, there's a whole absolute thing that DC does. They have absolute versions of comics that are released. It's something that they have a copyright on. So I also understand them wanting to use the name. But So there's going to be absolute power, which leads to absolute, which would make sense. But then we'll have absolute power and we'll have absolute. So it's already, when you're trying to find this, it's going to be maybe a little tricky and then there's also the absolute like additions that they do so then there's also a type of comic that they do that are referred to as absolute you know it's like marvel and wars sometimes it's like wars 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 why so many wars kind of confusing guys let's use a different word at least with absolute you know well i would say this is like the first it isn't the first time but at least you know there's not a million other absolutes in terms of events or initiatives that we've had prior to absolute power but it's still confusing because we have the absolute editions, the versions. So it's a little confusing already if this is what we're going with. However, I don't believe this has been officially announced yet by DC. So we don't know if this name is actually exact or legit or yes, this is just a rumor. We don't know really what's happening. I do love alternate universes. I love the multiverse. I love going to different worlds and exploring them. I love when they give me something fresh and new for a character, a new take, just something I haven't seen before, or just providing like a different lens on a character. So I am excited to see if that's where we're going with this, what happens. I just hope that we can make sure everything is still clearly defined and that, you know, we don't mess around too much with the main continuity, especially because there's some stuff in there that I really like. <laughs> so... <laughs> We'll have to see what happens and where we go next with this. But I just want to talk a little bit about it and talk about kind of my feelings on it, my concerns, my excitement. I Like I said, I really am feeling quite mixed on this. Let me know what you're thinking down in the comments and if you feel like this is even true, if it will be happening. Gail Simone did also take to Twitter. Bleeding Cool reported on this and congratulated Scott Snyder on his DC initiative, which does imply that it might actually be happening. But at the same time, is it based on something real that Gail Simone knows? Or is Gail Simone being her lovely troll self? She loves to troll people on the internet. And when Bleeding Cool talked about this, everyone was talking about it on the internet. It kind of broke the internet a little bit. Um, and I wonder if, you know, Gail heard of that and it was kind of just like a joke. <laughs> so we don't know what's really true or not. We'll have to wait and see. I'm excited. I'm excited to see where it goes. I hope it goes to a fun place if it is real. And uh, yeah, I will say having read Absolute Power, I don't know how I feel about this. However, I feel the second half of this free comic book day caught me more with the idea of uh, what is happening to Superman in here. Uh, I don't know if I should spoil this. I'm going to spoil it. It's been a while. It's been, you know what, it's been a few weeks. So at the end of this story, what we have is we have Superman. He's seemingly stopping a robbery. He gets shot and he falls. He actually gets shot. That's crazy. He's supposed to be invulnerable. So something is clearly taking his power. But what is it? Is it Amanda Waller's device that she wanted to make? I also find it fascinating that she has so many people that are captured here, including Dreamer. Poor Dreamer. I feel bad. So, yeah. 
I, I think it's an interesting idea. However, I feel like, you know, I don't know. I just feel like we've had a lot of Amanda Waller right now. And I love Amanda Waller, but is there a point when I'm like too much Amanda Waller? Maybe. All right, friends, that's it for this one. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And until next time, friends, stay nerdy. Bye!